हेलो एवरीबॉडी होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर वेल इन माय लास्ट क्लास आई डिस्कस अप टू द आइसोमर्स ऑफ कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड टुडे आई विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम इलेक्ट्रॉनिक स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द सी डब्ल्यू एच ग्रुप इलेक्ट्रॉन एंड न्यूट्रॉन डिफ्रैक्शन स्टडीज शो दैट द कार्बोक्सिलिक ग्रुप दैट द कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड ग्रुप एज ए प्लान स्ट्रक्चर दस ए कार्बोक्सिलिक कार्बन and two oxygen atoms okay in the carboxylic group are in the same plane and they are sp2 hybridized if i draw the emo diagram then you can easily understand so i am taking the example of acetic acid ch3 c double bond o oh so here because of this resonance the both oxygen atom are sp2 hybridized okay and definitely it will also come here so this carbon and this oxygen all are sp2 hybridized and this group will remain in the same plane okay if i draw the structure then you can understand This one is the COH bond and this is the carbon oxygen double bond. These are the hybrid orbitals. Okay, they are one hybrid orbital contain this uh, lone pair of electron, another containing the lone pair of electron, and during resonance there will be conjugation with this part. Okay, and a whole from the structure. Okay, we can say that this carbon oxygen and oxygen all are sp2 hybridized. Okay. This one is the uh, sp3 and sp2 sigma bond. This one is the sp2 sp2 sigma bond. Okay, and this oxygen because of this resonance, this is also sp2 hybridized. Now we will discuss the general methods of preparation of this carboxylic acid. first one is the oxidation of alcohol the preparation of carboxylic preparation oxidation of alcohols okay now primary alcohols on oxidation with a mixture of potassium dichromate and sulfuric acid or we can use potassium permanganate okay first it will produce the aldehyde and that is the, again oxidized to corresponding to the corresponding carboxylic acid okay and 
the number of carbon atom will be same as the number of carbon atom in the alcohol okay if we take the ethyl alcohol and if we give the reagent potassium dichromate and sulfuric acid K2Cr2O7 and H2SO4 first it will produce acetaldehyde and again by oxidation with this reagent it will produce acetic acid next if we take the benzyl alcohol so if we use the same reagent first it will convert to benzyl uh, dehyde okay here you can take KMnO4 in alkaline condition that is taking the KOH again this aldehyde that is benzyl dehyde will be oxidized to the corresponding carboxylic acid so in this way by preparation uh, by taking the alcohol by oxidation of alcohol we can easily prepare the carboxylic acid but if we take the this is the primary alcohol okay if we take the secondary alcohol what will happen in case of secondary alcohol we will get the ketone okay if we take this one that is ch3 chh ch3 if we give the uh, reagent that is the same oxygen in potassium dichromate and sulfuric acid okay first it will form the ketone then this ketone will be again oxidized then this ketone will be again oxidized but here the uh, acetone here the acid contain less number of carbon atom okay so here it will break there will be formation of acetic acid as well as formic acid so here the uh, we will get the carboxylic acid less than uh, the parent chain less than the parent alcohol okay number of carbon atoms next we will discuss the uh, formation of carboxylic acid by oxidation of aldehyde and ketone in case of aldehyde we can use that any milder oxidizing agent like tollens reagent like fedings reagent this type of reagents we can use or bromine water we can use that will convert the aldehyde to the corresponding acid but in case of ketone we have to use the uh, uh, strong oxidizing agent like acidified dichromate um, or K alkaline KMnO4 ok so if we take the acetaldehyde CHCCHO then by only the mild oxidizing agent that is tollens reagent tollens reagent it will produce the corresponding acid that is CHCCHOH now if we take the ketone we have already discussed the propox rule so here it will break and we will get the two carboxylic acid by using the strong oxidizing agent like potassium dichromate and sulfuric acid we will get the this is the acidic acid we will get and we will get the corresponding this acid there is a we will get propanoic acid CH3, CH2, C double. This will be the major product. Okay. Next, we will discuss another method for preparation of carboxylic acid. That is from uh, nitriles. Okay. If we take ethyl nitrile by acid or alkaline hydrolysis, we can prepare the uh, carboxylic acid. Or we can tell it that cyanides. Okay, so if we take CHCCl, this ethyl nitrate or methyl cyanide. So if we take this one CHCCl here by hydrolysis in presence of acid or base, any one I can take and okay, apply heat, then it will produce the corresponding acid that is CHCCOH. Plus, there will be formation of NH3 ammonia. Okay. Now, if we take the aromatic nitrate, suppose if we take benzo nitrate, C triple bonding, 
here also by acidic or basic hydrolysis that will produce that will produce the corresponding benzoic acid plus NH3 okay so this is another method for the preparation of the benzoic acid next we will go another method that is the Grignard reagent method for the preparation of carboxylic acid so you know that with the preparation of Grignard reagent if we take methyl bromide and if we add magnesium metal and here the solvent we have to use dry ether then there will be for formation of methyl magnesium bromide that is the Wigner reagent okay if we react this Wigner reagent with carbon dioxide gas CH3MgBr plus CO2 okay carbon dioxide gas then the solvent we have to use that is the dry ether then we will get the but after acidic workup we will get the corresponding acid first it will attack this carbon dioxide okay that I am showing uh, first I am writing the product CH3O MgBr then by acidic workup we will get the corresponding acid plus MgOHBr now here one thing you have to understand that is CH3 minus Mg2 plus and Br minus. This CH3 minus will attack here and we will get CH3 CO minus MgBr and double bond O. Okay. So by Acidic workup when we are giving HCO plus, so it will accept one proton and forming the CH3 C double OH and there will be formation of magnesium hydroxy bromide. Okay, so in this way we can prepare the corresponding carboxylic acid. If we want to take that phenyl magnesium bromide, so with bromobenzene we have to react with this magnesium okay in dye ether that will produce phenyl magnesium bromide this phenyl magnesium bromide will react with carbon dioxide gas okay in, uh, in presence of solvent that is the dry ether that will produce PHC double bond low OMGBR then by acidic workup that is H3O plus will produce PHC double bond low O H plus MgOHBr. Okay, so this is another method by which we can prepare uh, carboxylic acid, and we can use also the uh, lithium alkyl lithium. Suppose if we take N butyl lithium, that is NC4H9 lithium. Okay, here the uh, carbon part is the negative that will also react with the carbon dioxide and finally the acidic work of will get the corresponding carboxylic acid that is NC4H9CHH okay so these methods are useful for converting alkyl halide into a carboxylic acids having one more carbon than the parent alkyl like okay so these are we can say these are step of reactions okay so these are the uh, procedure okay by which we can prepare carboxylic acid next we will discuss the physical properties of the carboxylic acid now first we will discuss physical state physical properties first point is the physical state now we know that the first member is the formic acid formic acid is a uh, colorless 
pungent smell in vinegar like smell is uh, there sorry in not vinegar polymer acid is uh, pungent smelling but in next uh, member is the acetic acid is vinegar like smell there is also pungent smell and we generally consume the dilute solution of this acetic acid that is called vinegar okay and the acids from the vinteric acid to the nonanoic acids are oily liquids with unpleasant odors and most of the aromatics are uh, colorless solids okay and if you think about the benzoic acid that is also a solid compound okay and uh, if you think about the butyric acid butyric acid has water of ran acid of butter okay so uh, these are the uh, physical state of different types of carboxylic acids next we will discuss the boiling points Now boiling points of carboxylic acids are much higher compared to the hydrocarbons or you can think about the alcohol. Okay, if, if we take example then you can easily understand and you have to take the uh, comparable molecular mass. First we are taking that butane CH3, CH2, CH2, CH3. So in case of butane, what will be the molecular mass? It will be near about 58. Okay. If we uh, think about the boiling point, this will be around 30920. Next, we will consider the propyl alcohol, that is the propanol, CH3, CH2, CH2OH. And its molecular weight will be 60. Okay. And if we uh, think about its boiling point, these are the boiling points, its value will be near about 370 Kelvin. Now with the same molecular mass, comparable molecular mass, if you think about the acid, that will be the acidic acid, CH3, CHH, and its molecular mass is near about 60, and its boiling point will be uh, higher than the ethyl alcohol that will be around 390 Kelvin. Okay. Now what we are observing that from alkane to alcohol to as uh, carboxylic acid the boiling point increases. So what is the cause behind this increase of the boiling point in case of carboxylic acid? First of all there is strong van der Waal force due to their polar nature. Carboxylic acid is more polar compared to the alcohol. And second one is the intermolecular hydrogen bonding. If I draw the structure, then you can understand that hydrogen bond in case of carboxylic acid, if we think about the acidic acid, will form dimeric structure as well as polymeric structure. Okay. So because of this association through hydrogen bond, okay, the boiling point increases. First one will write that acidic acid. CH3 C double bond low OH H O C double bond O C H three. So this is the dimer and this is the intramolecular intermolecular hydrogen bonding. So forming dimer of carboxylic acid. And there is formation of uh, polymeric structure also through hydrogen bonding. This CH3 in the aqua solution they are generally forming dimer. They may be in vapor state, okay, they are forming or uh, forming that uh, polymeric structure, okay. Okay, this is one structure and another carbonyl. forming that hydrogen bond. Okay. So in this way they will form the polymeric structure. They are also structure is hydrogen bonding is possible. Okay. So if we compare the boiling point with alcohol, the which bond 
uh, in carboxylic acid is more strongly polarized due to adjacent electron withdrawing carbonyl group and the boiling points of monocarboxylic acids increases with the increasing in their molecular mass is due to the increase of van der Waal forces so if we think that formic acid then uh, acetic acid then propanoic acid then butanoic acid definitely the uh, molecular uh, uh, with the increase of the molecular mass okay the boiling point will also increase because of increasing van der Waal forces next we will discuss the melting point Among the aliphatic acids, the melting point increases irregularly with the increase of their molecular mass. Generally, even number of carbon atoms, carboxylic acids have higher melting points. If you think about the odd number of carbon atoms, carboxylic acid, their uh, melting point will be less. In case of even number of acids, the carbonyl group and the terminal, that means carboxyl group and the terminal methyl groups are in the opposite direction in the zigzag uh, form okay and it has also the symmetry and hence uh, it will fit better in the crystal lattice and these results the increase of the intermolecular force and which in turn increase the uh, melting point on the other end carboxylic acid with odd number of uh, carbon okay have carbon carboxylic uh, end and the terminal methyl group okay they are in the same site in the zigzag conformation. So uh, they are it is not symmetrical, it is unsymmetrical. Okay, uh, that is why uh, the packing will be no, not good in case of crystal, and their melting point will be less. If we draw draw the structure, then you can easily understand. Suppose we are drawing this. This is the even number of carbocyclic. Now here you see this one is a symmetric molecule. And here this CH3 group and the C double H group are in the in the zigzag formula are in the opposite side. Okay, so uh, this molecule is symmetric and uh, it will fit better in the crystal. Okay, that is crystal lattice. But whenever we are thinking about the odd number, that is we are taking the CH2, that is CH2, this CH2, then C double H. Here, this methyl group and the C double H group are in the same direction. That is why they are unsymmetrical and they are on the same side. So, that is why in the crystal lattice it will not fit properly as it is unsymmetrical. So, its uh, melting point will be less compared to the above, that means even number, which one is symmetric. Next, we will discuss the solubility. Solubility. Now, these carboxylic acids, okay, that the lower member, first four members, they are generally soluble in water. You know that formic acid, acetic acid, all are water soluble due to hydrogen bonding with water. If we draw the structure, then you can easily understand. They are with the hydrogen bonding with water molecule. Okay. Another acid molecule will come. So this is intramolecular inter intermolecular hydrogen bonding. So because of this hydrogen bonding, they are uh, highly soluble in water. And the solubility of higher members will decrease. So higher members means we are increasing the alkyl group. Okay, that is the non-polar part we are increasing. So this is because of the higher member of the alkyl chain or part, the non-polar part increases. So the solubility will decrease. Okay. If we think about the aromatic carboxylic acid, we can think about benzoic acid. Benzoic acid is almost insoluble in cold water. But if you apply heat, and then in hot water it is sufficiently soluble okay so in this way we have completed the physical properties 
नेक्स्ट विल स्टार्ट द केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज most of the reactions of the carboxylic acids can be divided into four parts first we think about the reaction due to the cleavage of oh bond and next reaction due to the oh part of the c double h and reaction due to the c double h group and the fourth one is the reaction due to the alkyl group of the carboxylic acid and the benzene ring okay so there are Uh, four type of reaction in case of carboxylic acid so first we will discuss the oh oh part that means the uh, reaction due to the cleavage of oh part so if we cleave the oh part definitely it will produce h plus that means it is acidic character so carboxylic acids are weaker acid compared to the mineral acid okay we know that organic acids are weaker acid compared to the mineral acid because Uh, these acids are not completely dissociated in solution. Okay, definitely there will be one equilibrium, and the dissociation equilibrium for an carboxylic acid may be represented by the equation we are taking the example of acidic acid, that is C H C double A H. Okay, that will react with water. In water, it will dissociate, and it will be in the equilibrium, forming C H three C double O minus plus H three O plus. Okay, now here what will be the equilibrium constant? So equilibrium constant will be K. So K we we can write that the concentration of product by concentration of reactant. So here we write that concentration of CH3CWO minus into concentration of H3O plus divided by concentration of CH3CWO. Here we are not considering the concentration of water because it is taken in the large excess okay this concentration will not uh, change okay and uh, practically it remains constant that is why we are not taking this concentration okay otherwise if you take it and if you multiply it this is also become constant and that constant we are taking that the dissociation constant of the acid now strength of an acid is directly proportional to the concentration of the hydronium ion higher the value of k higher will be the acidity and if the value of k is lower so acid will be lower now strength of the acid can also be uh, explained okay or also be expressed in terms of the pk value and the values pk value at the values where uh, pk can be defined as the negative logarithm of the dissociation constant of k so pk is equal to nothing but minus log k okay now so smaller the value of pk stronger will be the carboxylic acid okay now here if the k value is higher if the k value is higher definitely the acid will be stronger but here if the pk value is lower then the acid will be strong, stronger or if you think about the pk value is higher the acid will be uh, weaker okay if we give one example then you can easily understand First, we will consider the example of acid uh, formic acid H C W H. In case of formic acid, if we write the K value, so it is very difficult to remember. It will be seventeen point seven into ten to the power minus five. That is the dissociation constant of formic acid. But if we uh, calculate the P K value, that is the minus log K, its value will come near about three point seven five. Next, if we co uh, compare with the another acid, there is the acidic acid. If we take, what will be the value of the uh, K value of the acidic acid? There will be one point seven five into ten to the power minus five. So definitely, the K value of formic acid is greater compared to the acidic acid. So which one is more stronger acid? Definitely formic acid. Formic acid is stronger acid compared to the acidic acid. But if we write the pK value, it will be very easier uh, to remember. Okay. That will be four point seven six. So here pK value is lower, that means acid is stronger. Here pK value is higher, that means acid is weaker. Okay. 
Now we know that if we introduce some electron withdrawing group, suppose if we introduce the highest electronegative element like chlorine here, then what will happen? Definitely it will pull the electron clouds towards its electronegative nature and acidity will uh, increase and its K value will be 260 into 10 to the power minus 5. So K value increases. So now uh, among these three acid, <coughs> this fluoroacetic acid is uh, high, high, highly acidic. Okay. Now if we consider the uh, pK value, so it will be 2.59. So here pK value lower means the acidity is higher. Now what is the cause of acidic nature of the carboxylic acid? Now acidic acid, if we consider the acidic acid, uh, if it loses one proton, then it will form the corresponding carboxylate ion plus uh, this carboxylate ion. So if this one is the acidic acid, this is an acid and this is called the conjugate base of the acid. Conjugate base. Understand? So this conjugate base is stabilized by resonance and here we will get to equivalent structure that is why this resonance stabilization is uh, higher okay compared to the main carboxylic acid in carboxylic acid also there will be resonance okay if we draw the structure then you can easily understand that CH3 C double bond OH Now here see this one is neutral structure and here the charges are separated so these are not equivalent structures but whenever after releasing of one proton okay when it converts the acetate ion if you draw the resonance structure then you can easily understand that O minus will delocalize and form into equivalent structure. These structures are equivalent okay that is why they are highly stabilized okay. And this is because of this uh, conjugate base equivalent resonance structure, they are highly stable. And that is the cause of the uh, acidic nature of the carboxylic acid. Okay. Next, if we want to discuss the influence of the substituent, we know that if we uh, introduce some electron withdrawing group, definitely it will increase the acid strength of the carboxylic acid. And if we in in introduce the electron donating group with this carboxylic acid definitely it will decrease the acidic strength. Okay, so in this way we have uh, completed. Okay, and um, today up to this, and next day we'll discuss more example and their cause of different uh, acids and we'll compare their strengths also. Thank you.